Have you traveled? Nah, not much. So what about in the country? Where Where'd you like New York? Story County Jail. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like great rooms, great service. <laughs> food was pretty good. <laughs> No, nah, Story County Jail was nice. I liked it. What? Really? Yeah. So I hadn't touched red meat in three years, no, and what? I wasn't when gonna. Was, when was this? We never heard about this, right? Yeah, yeah, this is the first time ever. No, yeah, first I've, time. Oh, really? I, I, I didn't eat red meat for I think four and a half years. You have never once said that. If your woman was kissing another girl at the club, is that considered cheating? Would you get mad or would you be turned on? It's not my woman. <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to Under the Influence. We're what? starting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. run the intro. <clears throat> Wait, have you ever done the intro? You I did, I have. Yeah, sure. oh. Welcome back to... Yeah, hold on. Oh. Oh. Damn, that's a girthy boy. When did... Whoa. What is that? Yeah. Starbucks? I've never seen... That thing is... They literally just put a hot dog in eggs. It's still... Bre it's breakfast time? All right. If you, if you Starbucks insist. always serves the same food. Oh. Go to Starbucks. I have money for that. Mm -hmm. This is pretty good. Thank Whoa. Actually, I actually just got one of those. They were supposed to get a sriracha. Oh. Damn, they have sriracha. You know what's the worst? When you fucking order like McNuggets through DoorDash and they give you one sauce for 20 nuggets. Yeah. You get 20 nuggets? <laughs> 20 nuggets is light. Yeah, that's like. Wait, really? That's like a. Yeah, two big chickens. Like, a snack. I, like, I can finish 20 nuggets. Yeah. That's that. all, okay. No, it's because I get other things on it. Like what? Like 10 chicken nuggets, uh, two filet o fishes, maybe oh, well, a chicken <laughs> No <laughs> shit! 20, 20 chicken nuggets. You, you just named three sandwiches other than the 10. It's, but it's, and that's, that's bread, though. So that's I would say that's more food because of the bread. Mm. Yeah. I like straight protein, clean I, I protein. I'd be saying in general, if you're ordering the seafood option at a fast food restaurant, like you got to get some help. No, not going to lie. I had the filet of fish for the first time. I bit yeah. hers and it was gas. It was, it's it's fucking delicious. It's delicious. delicious. But it's not fish. You're just well, eating some. Neither is the chicken. Neither is the beef. They're all just the low quality versions of everything. It's just. So if it's not fish, what is it? Talking to the fish. I, yeah, <laughs> are we are we oh we're going? Stupid joke. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's you fish. guys should do the intro. All right, let's do Jer Jeremy loves uh, stupid jokes. His, I'm like a nun. <laughs> should have me crying. All right. <laughs> She's like, if it's not fish, what is it? Fish. <laughs> <laughs> fish. All right, it wasn't that. It wasn't that funny. Anyways, welcome back to the juiciest show on the internet. My name is Wutok, a.k.a. Bar Chemistry. We'll do Vit last because he's suffering. <laughs> My name is Jeremy. My name, My name is, is Esther. <laughs> His name is Vit Trap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we are, we are sponsored are by Nectar, Nectar Hard, Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors, no weird aftertaste. We are working on coming to Texas. If you want us to come to Texas... Send uh, a message. If you're from Texas and you want us to come to Texas, send your favorite store to the Nectar number. It'll pop up on the screen. It is not the UTI number. It is the Nectar number. And we're trying to be out there by spring. And if you want these hooligans to come along, let me know. And I will bring them. Texas? Texas. Mm. And the other thing, too, is we still got a limited number of these left. So go go buy one. <laughs> what? I oh, thought I had it on. I was my name. Be like, <laughs> my name is Vit Trap. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. There he is. Four minutes later. <laughs> the other thing I, I don't think people realize is Nectar is my company. Yeah, yeah, I'm realizing. But those are the casual watchers. Anyone who watches the full length stuff. Okay. Those are like clips watchers. Of yeah, course, they so, wouldn't know. So when you buy, you're supporting this show and you're feeding our future children. Mm -hmm. yep. um, Guess which one of us actually has children right now? Wait, wait. Uh, I, I actually got to pick the Who? winner. Right now, who said Glorgon and Fufu Bunny? And I didn't pick it beforehand, so I'm just gonna random. Well, you you keep, you look yeah. for that, and we'll we'll just keep the show going. Yeah, Data or Data? <laughs> uh, so I say Data. Data. He says Data. I say Data. Data. What do you guys say? Yeah, data or Data? data. Eddie. Data. 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 It's Data. So everyone, Vit is the only one that says Data. Data. Dad, it's, it's like it's saying dada. it sounds like saying dada, dada. dada. <laughs> like, like, like dad, but like a child saying it. Right. it. Sounds like something a scientist would say. Did anyone do anything interesting this weekend? Yes, I went to Hawaii. Oh yeah, she wasn't on the last. Uh, we actually didn't bring that up. I feel like why she wasn't on the last That's one while we're filming. Messed up. No, we. You forgot. Oh. I think so. What? You guys notice how whenever Esther asks, like, "Can we talk about? We should talk about this." We should. It's always just because she wants to talk about something. You should just be like, "I want to talk about this," and we'll be like, "Okay." Oh. Oh, you mean yeah. that she says oh. we so, instead so, of I? So, yeah. 
<laughs> women have rights now, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been that way for a while. <laughs> I don't okay. know where you've been at. Okay. Well, I went to Hawaii and I found out that it's not spam musubi, it's spam musubi. Mis- m- m- mus- yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah. You didn't know that? Well, I, I knew it was pronounced like Japanese. Musubi. Like. I didn't know that. But anyways, I have presents for you guys. Oh. <gasps> Yay! We getting a lot of presents recently. I yeah, like this. Yeah, I'm liking it. N- new rule: whoever goes anywhere, bring back presents. Bring back presents. Yeah, oh, don't. true. Fuck. Damn, That's I was just up. in Texas. And yeah, I, I gotta go to New York I soon. I brought you guys some cookies. Oh, Ooh. cookies! Oh, can I eat it right now? Oh, everybody gets cookies. Everyone gets cookies. Wow, these are so cute. Thank you. Yeah, these are cute. This is a cool tin. Look. You guys. Honolulu for Cookie you Company. Guys? Pineapple tin, nine premium shortbread cookies, five flavors. Oh my god! Wow, wow! This shit ah, sounds damn, delicious. God. Whoever wants leaking sour lychee, I've won. Ooh. Oh wants yes, I, we need to try that right now. Let's just eat this on yeah, screen. I also brought these Ooh. ones. Oh sh! I like how all her gifts are food. Oh, food. I was just gonna say <laughs> these ones. What? Wait, what else would you get other than food, though? I mean, yeah, Macadamia. I got a good ass story about this. This is a hella food. What is that? That's like the Asian and sour like, mix. Belts. It's like wow, Asian trail mix. Belts. That's Asian trail mix. Let me tell you a story about this. So uh, I was at one of the grocery the stores in Hawaii when we were like trying to get nectar into the store. And the man, the owner of the store comes and he's like, hey, literally holds up this. Maybe it was this one or it was like a, it was like a nut medley in the same packaging. And he was like, do you have a guy that can get me some of this? And I was like, no, I sell drinks. And he was just like, this single skew, this single style it's a whole wall it's like this this the popcorn he's like this single one has made me a million dollars this year jesus a million dollars that's how popular these little snacks i don't know if it was this imperial mix it was like a nut medley but like it was so popular because people just go when when tourists when they come to the beach or like if you snacks yes snacks but was was specifically the nut wait a second now that i think about it i think i bought those for my parents give it back yeah my bad Give it back. <laughs> yeah. This one's for your parents too. No, this one's for well, you guys. Thank you, Whoever thank you, this. Esther. Uh, I appreciate these, look, these gifts. These look fire. Maui onion and garlic. Oh, that looks hella fire. But let me read you all these these cookie flavors: chocolate chip macadamia, pineapple macadamia, oh, chocolate dipped macadamia, oh, dark triple chocolate macadamia, no more, white chocolate <laughs> dipped macadamia. Oh. They're just all macadamia. It's Wait, kind of crazy. Wait, every really? single every single cookie has macadamia. <laughs> Uh, wait, so before we go for it further, I'm gonna I'm blindly scrolling. You guys say stop, and then... Then you're gonna stop. pick the winner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Okay. okay. So, so this one said, Tu Chang, Esther so fine. How funny is that? But you didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> because that was not the word. <laughs> the winner is Dayana. Dayana. I'll screenshot this, and I'll pop you up. And uh, yeah, Violated. just DM on IG or send it to the UTI number that this is your um, this is your handle, and we will give you something, a gift. And then now we, we want to pick someone for the other words. So say stop. One of you. Stop. stop. Keep going. Stop. <laughs> Keep going. Stop. 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 There's no gl- oh I found one okay it's the worst segment actually we've keep ever going <laughs> keep going the audio listeners make it stop <laughs> Bro, just stop the first one you see, I'm tr- yeah I mean trying to find a glorgon let me find a glorgon wait 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 there's oh no God. cookies are good what did you guys give them the last time glorgon no they haven't they haven't hit me up oh really yeah I've been checking the number every single day uh, Erica Blaze you win you win glorgon this. Uh, what is Glorgon? It's a slur. Oh. Yeah. But ne- next time. Is it like some sort just, of monster? Uh, oh, you're a high noon fan? I am. Then you're going to love our drink. Is it gluten-free? Gluten-free, yeah. vegan, zero sugar, uh, one gram of carb. Okay. And no weird aftertaste. Thanks. All right. It's okay, ready. let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Take the they challenge. Have my high noon flavor. You know how like hard seltzer is that weird aftertaste? This does not have that. Oh, that's good. Right. Right, well. Actually, I do that. I'm sold. Sold. Let's go. Yeah, Grab that. Just, just yeah, I that's eat. the last one. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah, what? sweet. Darn. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. I'm oh, no, I need we'll him to tailgate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, no, we're going to restock, but yeah, I've been going on a tear today. Everybody's been buying them. So, about what? Uh, tell us about your trip. Oh, yeah. Uh, It was fun. I felt like I went to Waikiki and it felt like what? I was just in Orange County. Where is Waikiki? Oahu. 
That's the island? Mm-hmm. Is that, that the big, big one, one or is Hawaii? Mm-hmm. What's the big one? Hawaii? Big island is the most country-like. It's like Empty. lots of nature where the volcanoes are, the active volcanoes. And then Oahu is the next most... Oahu is like if you want to go for the clubs and the most people and just the metropolitan city. That's Oahu. But you can go to the North Shore and it's very beautiful. Thank goodness he saved me. I was looking at you like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where Wait, that explain is. to the audience that nectar is huge in Hawaii. Oh, it really is. Every, Y'all be every it like, there grocery for us. store I went there, they carried nectar because I checked, right? And when I pulled up to a party, someone had nectar. They're like, nectar! I was like, oh, you brought nectar too? Because I also brought nectar. She said, delicious Asian flavors, no weird aftertaste. No, I really did. Get us in five states, Washington, California. <laughs> it's like anytime we hear nectar in real life, we're like, delicious Asian flavors. No <laughs> it's in our head now. Unique Asian flavor. Um, yeah, so we're popping out in Hawaii. You guys are really good to us there. It took off the minute we stepped foot on the islands. But but so but a lot, so it goes Big Island by size, then Oahu, then Maui, then uh Kauai, then the other one, and then there's two Kauai? two islands that are uninhabited. I don't know how to say that word. Uninhabited? Uninha- Whoa. They literally provide a toothpick with the popcorn. Mm-hmm. So when it gets in your teeth. <clears throat> Sorry. Ugh. But it's like not covered. So it's like someone picked up the packet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I picked it up like this. I was like, oh, I want this one. <laughs> These are actually nuts. Yeah. Mm, right? Tasty. Good. Have you out? What would you do this super. weekend? Oh, yeah. I was sick. I was sick most of the weekend. I went out one night. Oh. Didn't. Even while you were sick or after you? No, nah, after I'd recovered. But I didn't. Like, it wasn't that fun. You still sound sick. I have like some mucus and that's it. Oh. Like, I didn't get sick from sharing food with you. Beast. Beast. I think because I was over it by then. Like I was on the, I wasn't contagious at that no. point. Thank God. Gang got really sick, but it wasn't the same sickness as me. So he got some something else. But anyways. Oh, okay. Well, the traveling thing was a good, um, good segue into our loose topic because we might change it. But uh, there was a lot of we asked you guys for themes and topics. There was a lot of traveling questions. So you guys know how when you travel with somebody, it like tells you their real personality. Oh yeah. <laughs> And I was like writing questions about it, but then I was thinking, like, why is it that when you travel with someone, you like really test your friendship or your relationship? Like, what is it about traveling that makes you 100%. realize certain qualities about someone? The first, I'm just thinking the first for me, mm-hmm. because I have to travel with my company a lot now, too. I can't, I hate sharing a room with my co founder because mm-hmm. he's, he's a slob. Mm. And so way? I have to scold In him like way? a child. So, like, imagine we, we come into the room. Um, and I put my suitcase in a corner, whatever it is. He'll put his suitcase there, and then everything will be everywhere. Like by the within an hour, his his gum and his like you know his gum and his phone are over here. Then like his ho- hoodie that he took off is like on the door. He, when he's done with the towels, he throws them on the ground in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? But are you there for like a week or like one night? I mean, we'd be stuck for weeks, nights, whatever. It oh, is. and he's just treating it like that. Yeah, and I got a, I got a. St- yeah, so then I have to use physical force to get him to clean up. Is that how you run things at Nectar? No. So originally, I tried to use the carrot, you know? Like, come on, like let's be clean. We're going to be in here for a couple of days. Let's treat it like our home. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't work. Then I notice I got to yell and scream and whip. And <laughs> Don't they have the room stays housekeeping, clean. though? Whip. Even Every with day? housekeeping, sometimes I think hotels they're like skimping on housekeeping. They don't. You come. have to you have to request it sometimes. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but so one is you see how clean somebody is, how they keep their personal space. So that's one thing for me. What about you? Um, well, I don't really like when I'm traveling. I like to relax, and I feel like a lot of my friends they always have super packed itinerary, mm-hmm. and I don't really like that much you know because if i'm on vacation i just want to sleep whenever i want to sleep get up whenever i want to get up and at the top of my head i'm like oh i want to do this and i want to do that but they're like at 8 a.m we got to wake up do this at you know blah 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 and i'm just like oh, what's the point what type of travelers are you guys wait, wait, wait. Oh. let him answer this question uh i think personally i think i, I don't want to travel with my significant other mm-hmm. just because like if, if I have a limited time to do something or, be like, be in another city, I want to do everything that I want to do. And then they're, they're just like, mm, I don't want to do that. So just do that. your significant other or just somebody else? Or, like... I, I feel like, if it, like, my friends, I just won't care that much. Mm. Maybe like that... You, like, you would, you would be able to just be like, all right, you do that, I'm going to leave. It. Yeah, because I don't care about oh. them. 
Damn. Wait, not like that. Not like that. <laughs> but but they're kind of saying the Can same I open thing. This? Yeah. They're kind of saying the same thing, but it's kind of the opposite. So let's dive in a little that, deeper. That's what well, what I'm learning right now is it just you have to travel with people that fit your travel style. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Or if the other person just doesn't care, right? If if you two were to travel together and she goes, yeah, go do whatever. I'll meet you up whenever I get up from yeah, my seventh care. nap. That works too. Yeah. Yeah. But I also don't mind like dragging myself, you know, because I'm for the friends. You should guys. It's good. Yeah. What is that? Leaking sour lychee. What do you mean leaking? Leaking. Leaking oh. is like, like a plum ish type. Yeah, let me try. Let me try. Let me try. It's like a powder. Man, you're distracting us with this food. I'm, don't blame me. I'm just a victim. Did you already answer? No. Me, I'm like a little bit in between both your your friends and you, so. I don't like, I wouldn't plan to be uncomfortable on a vacation, like waking up at 8 a.m. after we went out the night before. But I do, if I'm like in a new place, like I want to maximize everything about it. Like I hate, I hate when people want to do the same things they do at home in a new place. Mm -hmm. So that, that bothers me. I want to do the things that I can do. What are you trying I, to say? That I, can, <laughs> <laughs> I want to do the things that only you can do at that place. And I want to do as much of it as I can. I'm not going to be like, we got to sleep only three hours so we can do everything. I'm still going to try to sleep at eight hours. Nope. If we're clubbing at the... What? <laughs> no no to what? No. I was like, me, like, when I travel, I, I, no I want sleeping. no sleeping. Okay. Bender. Oh, wow. I uh, will <laughs> well, that's so young. Like, there, you know? There's a mix. I, I want to party in new areas too, but at, <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's not all the same because the people are different. But partying is relatively similar everywhere. So you gotta have the partying, but I also want to like go si go see the stuff. Big on trying the food everywhere. Touristy you you things? look like you were gonna say something. Food, food is number one. If you if the if your travel partners aren't down to try the local cuisine, then don't 100%. even bother. <laughs> on yeah. New York on the New York trip. We had a friend with us that I didn't realize was a picky eater. And I don't know why it's such a bother for me, but that Wait, shit who was bothers it? me. Who was it? Uh, you don't know. You don't know. Well, someone that you don't know. But um, that bothered me. It shit bothers the fuck out of me. What bothers That's me too? my number one ick. I, when, I, when I took my parents and my friends to, in Italy, I, we, I got this reservation at this place at the top of Anacapri, which is in Capri. On top of this island, he flexing on you. We got this. You didn't notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Saying we got, all these Italian words. It's literally at the top of the the hills. We're Korean. So they have to, <laughs> they have to come and get you in this little tiny van that hey, only goes Korean. to the restaurant. It can't fit on the normal roads and shit. Either way, this is a whole experience, and it's my favorite restaurant like, you couldn't in Italy. Afford it, either of you. Stop <laughs> interrupting, interrupting him. <laughs> Anyways, I took them there. It's like the best food in Italy, and it's it's euphoric. It makes you feel high. Ooh. They didn't even finish one plate because of, of why? Because of the height? No, no. <laughs> the food is so good that oh, you no. feel high. Oh, wow. But anyways, yeah, I ordered three dishes. They only ordered one, and they couldn't even finish. What was one. the Just dish that they couldn't finish? Like was it chicken weird? fingers? Like a gnocchi or like a Ooh. local like they couldn't eat fucking pasta? Yeah, yeah it was a bunch of pasta. Oh, so sorry, so sorry. You made me cover up my boobs. You better stop cussing. Yeah. Another, another it's shot. literally my brain Did is infected. It? Did I say the effort? No. Oh. Did you? I don't think so. No, no, but anyways, let him finish. Yeah, my fault. <laughs> no, that's Coming basically it. It, it. Like, it, it kind of ruined the whole trip for me because I was like, man, I just took you to... You're never going to experience this again in your lives. And Knock you, some. You didn't... No, no, no. It was your family? Well, I said my parents were one of them. Yeah. But my parents... My, I mean, my parents are Italian, so they'll eat. But even when I took them to the fancy restaurants, they're like... They just wanted to eat at like the regular. You know what's shit. strange like, though? Italian food is so mild. It's not like like. That's what I'm saying. Pasta is yeah, probably the pasta, thing that everyone. Fish. That's so crazy to me. That yeah, that just sure. made me upset. Yeah. But exactly that. If if like I was in, like I travel a lot just for food. Like you know what yeah. I mean? Like because because yep. yeah. that's the number one thing I think that will not, that will be fully fully different depending on the region you're in. Like the number one thing because like even partying right people are. It's like you go to a club anywhere. It's like different vibes depending on how different the culture is but it's a club at yeah. the end of the day so it's like true yeah and you travel for lady boys that's true yeah so all all areas have different flavors of lady boys so uh the other thing too is for me what's wrong with <laughs> what when i when i go <laughs> he just keeps it moving when i go on vacation we don't care anymore right what happened huh? we were just discussing and oh, you yeah, got extremely right. aggressive my fault so uh when i go on <laughs> vacation happened? though the things that i care about aren't sightseeing either i like I like food and hanging out with local people. So you don't if my like friend, sightseeing? 
Well, not I don't, the touristy, I don't, like, I don't not really the touristy care. shit. I don't like, really like, care. Uh, not like looking at the Hollywood stars in Hollywood. But I don't like, care about seeing the Mona Lisa. I don't care. I don't want to go see the Mona Lisa. I'd right. rather just go eat. You ever, you ever heard you that don't got to get so worked lyric? up about it. <laughs> you ever heard that Rick Ross l- a lyric? No. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Say it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's like Mona Lisa ain't none. No. Uh, move on. <laughs> <laughs> He said, hey, wait, uh, move on. Anyway. He said, Mona Lisa. I was, I, was, I was cracking up in the group chat where he was just like, my, j- my jokes ain't hidden lately. I don't know what's going on. It was so bad. It was just so low effort. It was just, it was just yeah. mean. And she was like, hey. He's like, yeah. I thought it was going to be it's nice. It's an easy line to remember, too. I say, you say it. It's Mona Lisa ain't nothing to me but a bitch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's what I was trying to say. You gotta just get off. I stuttered once. I stuttered once and it was over. <laughs> <laughs> what is all right? So, what about the? Uh, <laughs> I lo- just for the audience, <laughs> the audio listeners' sake. Esther just accidentally lowered her chair instead of raising it, and then Jeremy leans over. He's like, "I was gonna say a mean ass joke, but I didn't." And then he gives, <laughs> her, and, then, and then he gives her a pat on the back, like, "Got you." <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Don't say I don't do nothing nice for you. <laughs> what? What you guys want to know what the mean joke was? Okay, yeah, what? Yeah. I was gonna like, I was gonna like slide the popcorn away. <laughs> oh come on! I don't understand. <laughs> Oh. Like he's calling. He was gonna call you fat, but he didn't. You sank the chair. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> punch him! Punch him in his arm. No, that was a, that was a good one. That was oh, actually man. a good one. Okay, I get it. She's like, someone has to stop here. this guy. Have we realized he's a bully? <laughs> I thought the ayahuasca <laughs> tri- no, changed. It changed ayahuasca nothing, nothing about that. Oh, <laughs> didn't I tell you? You know didn't why? I tell you? Why? It's because he went three times. Yeah. <laughs> he's I'm invincible. <laughs> no, no, but didn't I tell you that right after? Literally, we're sitting there like all high on like enlightenment right after, and he's still like roasting me in front of all these random people we don't know. <laughs> <Really>? Yeah. <laughs> just gentle ones, funny ones. Yeah, he, oh said, he said I played the skin flute. And then the the dude next to us who was who actually was bisexual was like, haha, don't worry, me too. And I was like, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> you swear it again. Swore. Oh. You swear it again. <laughs> but anyways, on the sightseeing part, so what if you go to Tokyo, you're not going to Mount Fuji? Can't you snowboard there? Maybe, maybe I don't know. Can you, Brando, Mr. Uh, ChatGPT? Chat volcano. You don't need to go to Mount, I mean, you can see it from Tokyo. But I've been on I've been on Mount Fuji. I would go to before. Mount Fuji. I'd go to Mount Fuji. Um what about Shibuya? What is that? The that's like their Times Square. Oh yes. It's crazy care. looking. Oh, is it? Yeah. The super, super packed. Super street. busy. Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Not not super crazy about also, you know where everyone goes with those orange overhangs, that hallway in the nature and everyone takes photos. Yeah. It's orange. Oh yeah. Don't care. Really? I've never been there either. Same. I'm not gonna go to like the typical spots, but you have to go to Shibuya. You have to go to Shinjuku. Like those are the main parts of Tokyo. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. I go, but I'm just like I don't want to go to the orange bars. I don't want to go to. I'm trying to think of somewhere else. Jeremy's like, just gonna be in the host bars the whole time. The no, host, no. Host. I would be like, yo, let's go wake up at 5 a.m. with Gang was saying, and you wait at the docks, and they bring in fresh tuna, and mm. you literally the, the fisherman is cutting there serving you. That's what I would rather. Oh do. yeah, the, the mm. fishing market I'm super there down is cool for that too. Yeah. Or like, uh, or like, you know, ghost hunting, or like, go I to like a, or go to like ghost a, ghost hunting. What? You know, there. Are you would like, go ghost hunting, knowing know. you, he's he's a scaredy. He's trying cat, to get though. us canceled. What? What do you mean? Like Logan? No, there's like, <laughs> Japan is a very spiritual place. Oh, yeah. Speaking yeah. of which, Logan Paul, I've I've I firmly believe the only reason Logan Paul is as big as he is now is because of that incident. Huh. Because he got canceled. Yeah, mm. that's what that's, that's what true, drew so many. Jake Paul is big? huge, and he, nothing. He, he, like he that has happened. been big even before that, but th- that was like a mainstream news incident. Oh. So I I see what he's saying. I actually I agree with that. Yeah, Good because at least he came back from it. Hate rules the internet more than love does. Yeah. <laughs> guys, you come so, back from it though. Yeah, you, you, racing, you know guys. you know how to. <laughs> well, because you drink so no, much. No, no, no. It feels good. I like it. Really, you yeah. like that feeling? I hate it's like it. it's like in self-induced anxiety that I enjoy. Okay, would you guys go ghost hunting though? Yeah, you would. Yeah, no, oh. depends. It's all I mean, the anime you watch. Yeah, it have to be the daytime. <laughs> I couldn't do it at night. That you can't find ghosts in the daytime. Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about ghost hunting. Wait, Sorry. I have a question about ghosts. Okay, you can go. Uh, 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 no, how is ghost hunting going to get us canceled? he raises canceled? his hand to say something. Wait, Logan impolite. Paul wasn't going ghost hunting. How this is that impolite? You see that? Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? <sighs> Impulsive. 
<laughs> you know what? Never mind. It's all good. No, what please, please. Anime, no, I, no, anime. I, I, no, I do that on purpose so that you could get my attention again. Anyways. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I would like to go ghost hunting. Thank you. What the oh, fuck? That's Come on, man. <laughs> You, you know, interrupted hey, the show for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would, on, I would too. I would. Yeah, this guy starts making money. All of a sudden, he yeah, thinks he yeah, can do whatever yeah, he wants. Yeah, come on, no, Jamie. I'm, I'm severely scared of ghosts, but yeah, I would. I would want no, to. my question is: When somebody becomes a ghost, do they have to stay wherever they died, or can they go to other? Anywhere ghost you want to go, you a motherfucking no, no, ghost. Correct, correction. <laughs> the, 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 they say that ghosts stay because there's usually oh wait, what is this podcast now? The two camera guys. <laughs> <talking>? <laughs> I'm gonna turn these Jeremy's cameras mic. around. You guys, you guys keep going. <laughs> you guys keep Let, going. We will. We'll sit right here. Let Eddie speak. Nah, it's good. He, he we, can't, he, we can't hear Jeremy no more. <laughs> <laughs> you understand who you playing with? Me? <laughs> so, how many cookies did you have? Huh? How many? You're yeah, supposed just, to eat one after you eat. Show is unhinged oh, wow. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Just chaos. Just the today. First I don't know what's it's good though, right? It's so also, good. Also, also, just saying, I got I got moon bowls for everybody except Jeremy. Not not kidding. <laughs> Jeremy's so he's gonna, annoying. He's, gonna, he's so annoying. He's gonna have so all of us for a buy anyways. Hey, this, hey, hey, hey! Back on back on topic. This shit is chaotic. Where's today. the Where's your favorite place you've ever traveled? Ooh, I haven't been too many places outside of the U.S. Uh, South America. My cousins lived in Caracas, Venezuela. Mm. So I went there. People are super nice. Mm-hmm. Food is amazing. No speed limits. What was the what was the amazing food you had? Uh, so what? <laughs> he said snack. <laughs> <laughs> what? The snails. Snails? I don't know if they how have do you, How do you else. do that fucking snack? Acronym. What's up, guys? <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Jeremy, and so today we're gonna talk about wait, 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 wait. Say, say that you have. Say that you literally have W Riz. Literally W Riz. <laughs> So literally, W Riz. Literally, I'm what so say this, say this. Right say, now. Excuse me, ma'am. Permission to Riz. Excuse me, ma'am. Permission to Riz. <laughs> wow, you were looking spicy, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, my roast beef just dried up right now. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, what the why would you describe it like That's that? Disgusting. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's so gross. <laughs> you told me I can't say things, so I have to yeah. come up with new things to roast say. Roast beef? I, but like, <laughs> why was it roast wait, don't, beef? Wait, don't people call it roast beef? No, that's no. only when the lips look like roast beef. Okay, so roast beef. That's oh. a negative thing. Oh, it's a bad, it's a negative way. <laughs> okay, so Anyways, what, so what was the best food? Uh, <laughs> say that, it in the accent. What, no, what, they, had it, they had like... Seafood was really. Cr- I mean, everything was good. It's just like s- simple, very like, fresh. Yeah, like uh, Spanish dishes. Mm. Just it's very simple food, but prepared really deliciously. Beautiful women or not? Beautiful. Oh yeah, I gotta go. I gotta no. get there. But but also, um, yeah, you could do like what everyone's very nice. It's mm. not, I mean, there are. So my my uncle has he had a very he had a very successful business before the country fell apart. But literally, all their cars had bulletproof windows. Damn. Argentina. No, uh, uh, Venezuela. Venezuela, yeah, because it's crazy like that? that. It's South America. Oh. It's, it's on the Caribbean. It's on North South America. And I didn't realize. And so when I was opening the trunk, I was like, "Why the fuck is this trunk door so heavy?" And I thought, "Oh, sorry, oops." I was like, "Why is this trunk so heavy?" And I thought that you know how the air compressor will like then like raise the trunk. So I tried to like lift it and put my suitcase in, and it just folded me in half, and it was very painful. You're so That's weak. The story. <laughs> I was young. How old are you? Eighth grade, uh, senior in high school. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How much did you weigh senior year in high school? 150. Oh, wow. Oh, the Damn. same weight as me. No, 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 no. I was like 145. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Dang. Every single time you cuss, I'm going to yeah, remind you, remind you, like, us. remind you, like he always says, Mike, Mike. Yeah. yeah no, 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 just punch him. you just like that. Good. Punch him. Why Good. We're trying to learn. Uh, what about you? Favorite place you've traveled to? Uh, I haven't really traveled much as well. I would say New York. I've had a really good experience. And mm. that was my first time there, what, like a month ago? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I It was my first time riding a subway. And it was just so enjoyable. And then on top of that, wait, the only thing I didn't get to do in New York was to eat pizza. You didn't eat pizza? And, really? And the bagels. Yeah, I did it. What? What the fuck? I'll go back. I'll be back. I'll be back. He forced us to go to pizza. I'll be back. 
Which way? When, when when someone comes to New York, what is the spot you take them? We went jo- uh, John's on Bleecker. Oh, yeah. That's only because there's no wait though. There, there's way better pizza places, but you genuinely have to wait hours. Joe's. No, Joe's is is it's Joe's is mid to be honest. It's good, really? but it's it's like very average for New York pizza. Here's the beautiful thing about New York: the mid pizza is still like it's a seven beautiful. out of ten. Dude, the ninety nine cent pizza fire. is genuinely fire. Like I eat, th- but it makes you feel terrible afterwards. Mm. Like I really be sitting on the toilet after that pizza. Mm. But uh, so all right, if you guys are willing to wait hours for food, Lucali. <sighs> It's je- you cannot have better tasting pizza. I don't know how, how you can make hours? it better. How many hours? And do you have to Two wait in line, or do you just like you have write to your physically name? wait in line? Oh, no. Some people hire oh, no. task rabbits to go wait in the line for. I would I would do it. Yeah. I li- so that's another thing I do on vacation. I will wait any time for food. Uh, I would I would hire the task rabbit. If Once you, I learned that was an option. If you plan ahead of time, you have to just be there three hours before they open. Wait maybe an hour, and then you come back when they open, and, and then you're good. That's that. That's like yeah. That's how you strategize it. I also like Vegas. Those no, are the two we spots. We know you like Vegas. Yeah, yeah, those are the two spots. I totally forgot about Vegas, but yeah, New York and Vegas. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Have you traveled? Nah, not much. Ever, other than Vietnam, have you gone out the country anywhere? I do not think so. Wow. And Vietnam was when I was really young. So. What about in the country? Where where'd you like? New York? Story County Jail. <laughs> 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 no, nah, uh... Probably New York. It was like, like, like great rooms, great <laughs> service. <laughs> food was pretty good. <laughs> no, nah, Story County Jail was nice. I liked it. What? Really? Yeah. Of the all nicest the jails? Jail? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What, what, I got, I got a single man cell. So I could How'd you get that beat it. <laughs> Everybody gets a single man cell there. Oh. Uh, they, had, they had food. Breakfast was catered by the high bee across the... Because it's a college town. So I, I caught a case in Des Moines, but it was during like COVID. So it was... PCJ was packed. So I was just transported up to Washington County and then I went for there for a month and then I went over to Story County for two months. So you just racked up those travel miles. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I've, I've spoken about when they were transporting me, it was like a, like a two hour drive in the back of a like dead winter uh, oh, yeah. like sprinter bus. They didn't give you a hoodie? No. I, I, had, I had my undershirt, my little vest thing that you had to wear, uh, sandals, socks, and pants and that was it. Cuffed, Damn. Yeah. Damn. Well, what's the food? What's back? the food? I'm curious about the food. Like that, you said that it was. Uh, decent. We had donuts every morning, up in Story County. Uh, donuts with OJ and milk and a cereal, huh. and that was it. But I normally what I did was I gave away my I traded my breakfast tray because I didn't want to wake up that early, and then I would get a lunch item, like, like a lunch main, which was the, what. I mean, depended on the day. Sometimes wow. we had pizza, I think. I think we had pizza a few times. Loved pizza. Uh, you know what? It's not sounding Wednesdays so bad. were bad. They had goulash. Goulash? Yeah. What is goulash? It's like, just Honestly, like I don't know. Porridge. Yeah, that sounds like, like a gruel. Stew. It's yeah. like, a, like, a, like a beef porridge, but really nasty. So oh. Wednesdays, I didn't eat lunch. Mystery meat. Yeah. Oh, and what I normally yeah. did was I had um, like packs of ramen. So I would just cook the ramen. They had microwaves up in Story County, too. Ah. Big, big thing. You could play basketball twice a week. Uh, Fridays and Mondays. Uh, Everybody they, in the jail is probably trying to play basketball, though. Like, how many people are trying to? Well, play? we were in different pods, so like each pod oh, had its own. How many people time. in a pod? I think I had like fifty. Fifty people trying to play a basketball game. There only a few people, like a yeah, lot of them, were, like, trying to play basketball. Yeah. Okay, but he's making it seem like it's a five star hotel. It's like right a sleepaway camp. Yeah. I'm over here like, nice, nice. like low key. Wait. What can I do to get? It was there? nice. It was definitely nice. Do you, you do you know, ever you know what you could do? Do you ever do you ever get like TV or? Yeah, they had TVs. Um, you could buy a radio for I think it was like a hundred dollars, and they give you a little handheld radio thing. So that's what that's how I listen to music. Uh, but 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 what else? I don't know. It was a really nice jail. I enjoyed my time. There. How many how many how many <laughs> months were you in that one? <laughs> Two months. So He's like five out of five. Sixty days. Will recommend. Mm. I stayed a month in PCJ. Moved up to Washington. Uh, for a month and then spent the last two months there. Then got transported back to PCJ for two more weeks. PCJ sucks compared to... It's it's terrible. The only good thing about PCJ is like... Every, it, that's not like a college town. So like there were people in there for like murders and shit. So it's like you have... To, everybody in there respected everybody else. Otherwise they knew like if you acted out, you're like going to be dealt with. Damn. Whereas uh, Story County was a college town. So there were people in there for stupid... like. Like, kids my age were in there, so it's like, um. everybody was just kind of dumb. Mm. <laughs> Reckless. Reckless, yeah. I got, in a, I got in a fight while playing uh, basketball one time. So uh. I got sent to the hole. Is the hole an actual hole? 
No. no. Just uh, solitary. A dark cell. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a cell by itself away from everybody. <gasps> What's your favorite place to travel? Um, I traveled a lot as a kid, and then after like nine, when I had no papers, I wasn't really able to. Oh. Or no, it was twelve when I lost them. You've been around the U.S. a decent amount. Yeah, I've been I've been around the U.S. But U.S. like the best city in my opinion is New York, and then I like Miami. I like, well, I like living in L.A. I don't. I wouldn't say L.A. is particularly nice to visit unless you know the right people here to visit. Mm. I like ooh. Texas. Ooh, I really ooh. like. Oh, Texas. I like Texas a lot, but I wouldn't put it like high on. I like it just like it's like a nice. I don't know, casual vacation. I went to Japan as a child, but uh, I was such a little dummy. I was just like, Mom, I want to go home. Everyone's weird. I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> I was nine. And, uh, and now I regret it so much because I should have fucking enjoyed that. Oh, so sorry. should have freaking enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say New York, even though it's not really traveling. Yeah, I think I, think I like New York the yeah. best. I, I, I always say there's a different like energy up there. Yeah. It's, it's weird. Just so much stuff to do. Yeah. You can walk it's almost anywhere. Like, it's almost like all the all the air they have in there is just brainwashing to brainwashing you to to love New York. <laughs> Poison I'm like cracked out right now. <laughs> Would you? You have caffeine too? Yeah, I drank that way quicker. Oh than yeah, I you know. good. Chug yeah. that. Yeah, good. Cracked out twins. But um, have you ever traveled with someone and you just hated them afterwards? <laughs> No. Starting with Esther. No, never. No, never, you, never. Have you ever like kind of been ticked off? Of course, yeah. But I, it was just like something so small that I was like, whatever. Okay, so it yeah. wasn't a big deal. No, not a big deal. What about you? You look like you do hate somebody. No, no, no. I'm trying to think. <sighs> Jeremy's a hater. Jeremy is a hater. I, I didn't of. even list nobody. <laughs> Jer- Jeremy's my number one op. Hey, doesn't sure. he kind of look like uh, Korean Han Solo? Looks <laughs> <laughs> like he's wearing a vest. Every day he oh, comes. Yeah, he, comes yeah, he kind of <laughs> looks like Korean Han Solo. Same hair. God, I see. I see. That's it. a compliment, man. Thanks, man. Uh. Looks like Korean Charlie Sheen. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. of the shirt. Um, I can't think of anybody off the head that I hated from traveling. I hate it, but just like your relationship wasn't the same well, after. Can, you know what's kind of? I did not like family vacations when I was younger because we would always fight, mm. always fight. So I Who's, hated. Who was the? One to start the beefing. I mean, it was just always it was different people every time, mm. you know. And my, my dad's annoying to travel with at times. Oh, and they snore too, really too, uh, too controlling? Yeah. Like, he's too, too controlling, regimented. and he just, like, loses his temper. And, uh, yeah, there was always beef going down. Mm. I, I could have been the starter, or it was my older sister, or whoever it was. There was always someone just in a bad mood that would, like, kick it off, and then, yeah, my, yeah. Mm. So. You, have, you have anyone? Nah, I don't think so. Just because I haven't, I haven't traveled with people many people it wasn't i don't hate anyone from after traveling but my one boy we traveled to we it was actually my first visit to la that was the worst trip i've ever gone on was the first time i visited la was that the first time i met you no 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 no. Oh. i've come to la once on vacation before when i was 21 didn't know anyone here couldn't rent a car because i was only 21 so like all these factors didn't know where to stay so i stayed in freaking boyle heights <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and like, and my boy that I came with at that time, I was I, like, I was 21. So I like was super into partying and he was not a big partier. Uh, he wanted to do things like sm- sit on the beach and smoke weed, which I was down for. I did that. But then he was like down to like stay in the Airbnb and watch Netflix. Allegedly. Allegedly. No, that's illegal. Uh, but, uh, but he wanted to like sit in the Airbnb and watch Netflix. I'm like, dude, it's Saturday. Oh my god! Like, let's go out, and he's just yeah, like, no. and I had to like drag him out. No wonder you hated L.A. Yeah, I you were hated Boyle L.A. because you were of Boyle that. Heights. Yeah, and uh, and every Uber was like sixty dollars to get anywhere because wow. I had no car. It was crazy. And you picked the furthest point yep. to like travel. Going to the beach was an eighty dollar Uber ride every yeah. there, and then eighty dollars back. No wonder you hated about the in and out too. Oh yeah, and then I went to, and I had given up red meat for at that point three years, I think. Yeah, and then um. So I hadn't touched red meat in three years, yeah, and when, I wasn't when gonna. Was, when was this? We never heard about this, right? I've yeah, said, this I've first said time this ever. No, yeah, first I've time. Really? I, I, I didn't eat red meat for I think four and a half years. You have never once said that. Oh, never. what? This yeah, is, a, this I, I is something I new. I went vegan learned for a month. Well, I went vegan for a month. Well, because you were brainwashed. By yeah, I was brainwashed by vegan pharma? propaganda. Yeah. yeah, big farm. Wait, wait, wait. Interesting. Big veggie. When did you start eating? Eating, uh, eating meat again. I think I was 22, 23. I forget. And it was, how was that? I mean, it was like all my favorite foods up to that point were like beef, 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 beef dishes, right? Then I got brainwashed into believing the only way to save the environment was to go vegan. So I started not eating any red meat at all. 
<laughs> literally wait, four wait, and a half wait. years. You said vegan was you were brainwashed to go vegan, and then you just didn't eat red meat. Yeah, what? I couldn't give up all meat, man. So like pescatarian? No, I was. I eat chicken. It was just no red meat, and then um, uh, but yeah. So what was the point of this? Oh yeah, came here, and then also I'm from California originally, right? So my childhood memories all have in and out. Like I used to, that was literally my favorite thing to do ever was when my grandma or my mom or my grandpa would take us to in and out. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll eat the burger. I'll eat the in and out. We went to this one in Hollywood and in, it was so trash. The, the, the one that's the little stand. That you're no, no, it oh. wasn't a stand. I don't know. We've, we actually went back to that same in and out. I was telling him, bro, this is the one that made me hate in and out when I came to LA. Was it, and just, it was good again. I was oh. like, what the fuck? You just what got the freakity dickity do? Yeah, yeah, you dick. What the frickity stickity do? Yes, frickity stickity do is great. Okay. And, um, Were you gonna ask something? No, 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 no. Yeah, in and out. Just probably you just hit it on a bad. Yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. It was just it, it. It felt like it was a bad time because also my boy that was his first time in LA, so he was like, "This is trash. Like, why is it so hype?" He was excited as hell for it. Damn. And I didn't eat any K barbecue Korean food because I was in Boyle Heights. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, it was just like not an enjoyable trip. And then I went back and I was just talking hella. Smack yeah, of nice. LA. <laughs> Did you not know anybody in LA prior? No, I, my, your biggest my uncle and my grandma live over here, but they live in Anaheim and River and Corona. So like, oh. but Anaheim. Yeah. Uh, have you guys been to Disneyland? Of course. Yeah, as yeah. a child though. Did oh, I went recently. Uh, TikTok took me. Wait, do you like? Wait, time out. Are you guys Disneyland people? Do you like Disneyland? No, I've never been. Oh. Um, it's just nostalgic for me. A, a video idea. We should take taking it. our son Vit to Disneyland for the first time. Oh, you've Easy. never been. I've never been. Yeah. yeah, we'll take you. I, yeah. I do. You, are you okay waiting in lines for rides? Because yeah. the line is no. You just gotta buy the fast no, pass. How much the is the, how much is the no? Fast but even pass. yeah. But you have to you time have to wait like an hour money. to get there. No. Uh, what, what's these double conversations? Oh, sorry. One at a time. What's the uh, what's the, you were saying? Fast pass. Just uh, how much is it? I don't know. I think I've it's never, like twenty bucks. Never bought one. No, it's it's a little bit more expensive. I just went recently. Oh really? Yeah. I went maybe. Oh, I went last year. It was twenty bucks. But anyways, yeah, TikTok took me. That that was so. That was one. Of oh, the you got to go at night too, so there's yeah. no lines. They shut. No, they did multiple things actually. Wait, what? Wait, you did go to Disneyland? I don't consider like going to Disneyland. Yeah, true. We, we we went to a like a Spotify after party thing from VidCon. So Spotify had this after party, um, and. I got plus one. I ended up taking Jimmy though, because Jimmy was at VidCon and he was just like, "So, what, what are you doing with that? What are you doing with that plus one?" And we're getting lunch. And he's like, "I got this." <laughs> he rizzed me up for that plus one. But luckily, he um he got he got in with our other friend who had a plus one as well. Yeah. So we were all just chilling. In Di they shut down this. They bought out a section of Disneyland. Open bars everywhere. Free food everywhere. That is when going to it? Disneyland. The best version it, of going to well, Disneyland. It was only yeah, a, it guess. was only like six rides, like a section uh, of six rides. Space was, Mountain. Yeah. No, in, in Incredibles coaster, like in a bunch of none of the rides were like that. The Incredibles coaster was cool. That was that, that was, was fun. Decent. That was fun. Yeah, but um, other than that, the other rides are like Ferris, like the. What the swings that swing around? Yeah, and the, that spin. Nothing you that becomes, like made me fear for my life. Yeah, nothing. Crazy. I don't think anything at Disneyland makes yeah, you fear. For no, life. but the Six best flags. one is Guardians of the Galaxy. Really? That one's the best one. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm down to go to Disneyland. Um, Wait, but as it. as a are you one? Of, you two, you're lukewarm on it. You like it. You like it. You've never been, sort of. I like. But are you? Parks. Yeah. I love no, no. It. I'm talking about specifically Disneyland because oh. there's a type of Disneyland person. No, a no, Disneyland no, I'm girl. Not, I'm not, super, no, I'm not like super crazy about like. Disneyland like that. It's just nostalgic because my uh, my late grandmother, she took me and my family for the very first time. And so like I have really good memories there. Mm. But other than that, like um, it's just a lot of lines overhyped, you know, yeah. Where whatnot, but I still I still like it. I'm confused. Where would you? So then, what? Like, what's an activity like that that you would spend money to go snowboarding, do? skydiving? Mm. Oh, skydiving! Skydiving is never we done. Should, that. We should go skydiving. <gasps> omakase. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's omakase? You know when you sit at a sushi counter and the chef makes each piece one piece oh. at a time in front of you, and it's like a tasting. Menu I would also sushi. enjoy that. Yeah. 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 Well, of course, non-food experience. Non -food what about you? Non-food. Non non oh, that's hard. Snowboarding. Snowboarding. I would agree with that one. Yeah. I couldn't really think one off the top of my head. If I had, if it was, if it was the season, and I had that time to do something all day like that, I would just pick snowboarding. That's so fun. I've man. made up my mind to try to learn learn how to snowboard. Like, have you been going like yeah. a bunch? Yeah. Would you say you're good enough to go without falling yet? 
uh off like the green thing yeah. the green one yeah i think but so. the whole mountain the big mountain no not like if, if it's too fast i don't know how. no but the green circle is just as steep as the bunny slope you don't go any oh you're faster. talking about going down the whole green one yeah yeah i could probably go down okay there. good who's the best out of that group you went with which group i've, I've gone with a couple Suburb uh, Pops and stuff yeah the ones that we know because they always say they're good Apparently at it cynthia cynthia's a dog really? well, but she yeah. she looks like she, she wasn't there huh yet. yeah she was oh, there. I the, forgot she was to, there the first time I went. I forgot to text her and invite her to. Uh, she's supposed to come. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, I heard Nick is learning at a pretty good rate. Um, there's some other kids you haven't met yet. Part of their group that's pretty good. Wyatt. 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 I've met Wyatt. Yeah. Well, I was talking to her. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> why are you Why are you looking at? I'm just waiting for. He's got the. <laughs> No, he was texting Cynthia. Yeah, no, 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 Cynthia. I know, but like they ran out of the topic and I was like, oh, <laughs> I can't see the ball. I was like, uh, uh, Do you panic. About this one? Ooh. Panic was what setting in. <laughs> By now you've seen us drink this beautiful drink and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have the disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works and if we're not in any stores near you yet or we're not in your city you can order us online we ship to 45 states and if we can't ship to you send us a text that tells us where we need to go next drink nectar hard seltzer unique asian flavors and no weird aftertaste now back to whatever the hell they're talking about well the question was what is it about traveling that makes you see a person's true identity but what i think it is it's like you have when you have limited time in a space like what are you going to use that limited time for and then we just learned that she's like, she'd rather chill, not be stressed. And then some people are like, pack everything in at the cost of comfortability. And then I'm like a somewhere in between. So my dream vacation is obviously food, but for me it would just be going to like uh, Nicaragua, mm -hmm. which has like perfect surf 364 days out of the year. Mm -hmm. surf? And just surf. You, surf. you know how to surf? Mm -hmm. and hey, that's another thing we need to learn how to do. Surf? Surfing is the way, you way harder. Surfing is super it's hard. It's way better. I don't. I, I could teach you, but it's just way. Be I've always gotten a lesson in everything I want to be good at, and it saves you. It's the difference of being like, yo, watch a YouTube video and learn how to box versus a trainer who's like, no, fix your arm. Like, don't breathe like uh, that. Oh, yeah. try this trick. Okay. You're going to learn just that much faster. But with surfing, the thing that's difficult is one, the swimming aspect of it. If you're not a good swimmer, you're going to have a bad time. And the second, I mean, but you can get good pretty. If it's shallow, easy surfing, it's okay. But the surfing gets good when the waves get a little bit bigger. But the other difficult thing is, in a mountain... What, I was, no, I, no, I'm sorry. I just don't know how to swim, so... Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not, oh, not going like, to have a good outside. time. I was over here like, oh... Yeah. So, with a snowboard mountain, it's like you control... Like, the mountain's not changing. You just go down the mountain with surfing. You need to time the wave. Yeah. The timing aspect, and you got to paddle hard, makes it a very difficult sport. Oh, OD. Yeah, and, uh, once and, you and, catch uh, it, you realize why motherfucker. People travel the world to find the best waves and yeah. get up at 4 a.m. Like at any time, you just catch that first wave and you stand on it, and it's like probably better than a Orga or or organism. Organism. <laughs> We're getting good the at this. The ocean is scary, though. The ocean's it's super scary. scary. I've almost drowned multiple times. And I can swim, but I'm not that great at swimming. Nothing is more terrifying when you're like paddling and it's double overhead, like the wave. Oh no. Like, from the shore, you're like, oh, those are big, and they're surfing it pretty easy. But when you're on it, it's like oh, yeah, a two-story building looking at you. And then wow. when it's like, so, like, you know how they dive underneath it? But if you're too late and it's already breaking, oh, you're done for and it. I'm just like, it's cracking and down my head. I'm like, videos, it scares me so much, like, looking at people getting flipped over. That's terrifying. Wild, I'll dude. give some props to the white people. That's why these are white people sports, because yes. they, they're the only ones down to go yeah. do things that will almost drown they're you. They're super yeah. adventurous. Yeah. It's like... Tony Manguchi vibes always. Tony you know Manguchi. I mean? Hawaii, though, if you go to the North Shore, in the, it's the winter. Yeah, you should have went to the North Shore because the surf is crazy. Not that she cares about the surf. <laughs> no, watching it, watching it is super fun. Oh. When you're watching these, these, these people just casually going out there, dropping in on like two and a half, like eight foot waves. Huh. It's well, I went on the, the booze cruise. 
That's what, <laughs> the difference in things they want to do. What? Booze cruise. Let's look at the. What's, hey. a, what's that thing where it's like you're on a you're on a like a board and you're you hold on to the water thing. bikes boogie boarding? W- wakeboarding or jet skiing wakeboarding that's yeah. what it is oh, I'm but anyways, oh, i want to go jet skiing but but a vacation skiing. like that where i have an activity i get to do every day yeah. instead of like sightseeing and this i would much rather do that I, I like i do like sightseeing but i like sightseeing nature you ever been like the redwood forest Ooh, now that i think about it that might be one of the craziest places i've I'm ever been going there why? why you don't like trees it's a long story what is that what why we got time. This is a podcast. And a stupid story now that I really think about it. <laughs> Say it. My my second ex's uh, guy best friend that I had a problem with <laughs> posted a picture one time at that place. So that is the <laughs> dumb that I, I didn't, I didn't think it would be that stupid. <laughs> he he doesn't like him and the trees. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no, all oh, you are on my shit list. Ex boyfriend <laughs> ruined trees for him. Good. We get there, he's like, this was the exact spot. He took this picture. <laughs> Pulls out an axe. <laughs> and you, I, I just even as a child, I thought that was so magical, like looking at how big these trees were. Yeah, uh, I like and like. Um, yeah, I like doing the nature stuff when I go to. A, what did a new you place. say was cooler in Utah? You're like, I went to one. Oh, Zion, yeah. dude. So what, what we we uh, what? <laughs> Nothing. The park? Yeah. Oh, you said Williamson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's amazing too, actually. But he is. Uh, no, yeah, Zion National Park. It was like a scene out of Jurassic Park. Like, <gasps> I love Jurassic it's Park. It's so cool looking. And uh, and then there's this tunnel. It's very famous on TikTok because people record themselves coming out the tunnel to the music all the time. Mm-hmm. And then like opens up because you can't see anything because it's so bright. And then when it comes out and the lighting adjusts, it's like a, a new world. It feels like you're on a different planet. And uh, we went and then we're like going and we're like, oh, yeah, this is cool. This is nice. And then when you go through the tunnel, the color of the sand, the color of the dirt changes to like bright orange. So everything just looks so crazy. And it was like it floored It's like me. you're on like Mars. Yeah. Have you guys ever been to Dubai? No. no. Have you? I, no. <laughs> and what I've been really confused about is now that I've been in, in L.A., uh, mm-hmm. More now, it's really hard for me to talk today. I don't know what's going on. Caffeine. Yeah, maybe. We're jittery. Um. Every little like influencer goes out to Dubai. They're doing crazy marketing right now for Dubai. Yeah, yeah. they're Dubai, pushing. They're Dubai pushing is to mostly people. tourists. It's yeah. not a. It's not for. How, how much does it cost to go out there? It's expensive. It's expensive. That's uh, Dubai is an expensive city. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. But that's the thing about influencers is that, or at least influencer women, like because they have a lot of followers, like a lot of people know about them. A lot of rich people all yeah, over the world want to fly them out. Like, hey, come party with me. Let blah, me take blah, a dump blah. on you. <laughs> You've never heard this? No. I think that's thing. a bad rep that we... That is, it feels stupid because it's like there's sickos in every part of the world. Like it just so happens that like Dubai... There's a lot more. ...got popular <laughs> for it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Wow, that's a thing. People want to take dumps on you? Yeah. yeah. But those, uh, those, those hill sands... Hill sands. Sand hills? Dune sands. Sand dunes. Sand dunes. Sand dunes. Sand dunes. Sand dunes. Yep. Um, sand dunes. Those were... I want to I wanna rent like an ATV and... Oh, super down for that. Yeah. You can do that in Pismo Beach too. That's what I'm talking about. Somewhere this is here. the definition of why we need to get rich because we're all like... We're, we're sitting here like, I want to do this. I want to do that. And if I did four of those things in a row, I would be on the street asking for money. <laughs> and you know so, how we could get there if people listen to the audio yes. version of the podcast. Yeah. But yeah, that's oh, no, why... Hey, let them know. We now release it a day early. Oh yeah, so... Oh yeah, I was going to ask about that. We we do really. <laughs> I don't know why that was. So He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I was gonna ask you about that. <laughs> I was. I was confused yesterday. Yeah, I think he genuinely was like, why did it come out? Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was confused. I got tagged on it. Oh yeah. Like, so um, so we are now releasing the episodes a day early onto audio platforms. So we release Tuesdays and Fridays. But if you want to listen early, Mondays and Thursdays, you will be able to listen to it on audio. Yep. So make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. If What's the word? Oh. the word? The word today is pineapple cookies. Pineapple, pineapple. cookies. If I you've made it this far, Dubai dump. You said that nope. way too early, though. No, no. Well, how many better, hours are we in? We're in one not hour. Not even in an hour. That's oh. fine. That's fine. No, we're, we're going to move over, it around. We're yeah, going to move it around. We don't want it to just be at the end. So that yeah, because some people try. Yeah. So if you made it this far, comment pineapple cookie. Yeah. And uh, make sure to follow us on Apple Music or Spotify or any other streaming and audio just platforms. Keep, keep giving us topic ideas. Yeah. You know, we may not pick it, but it's helpful for us. <laughs> <laughs> but also, just try keep to trying. Think of things trying. that are not super generic questions because we've done like se- more than 70 episodes. And that shows us that you're not going back and watching our other episodes. Yeah. Or you're not taking notes if you're not taking <laughs> notes while you watch under the influence episodes turn it off right now yeah. go buy yourself a notebook and come back and sit down you know what was cute 
uh, this Instagram comment was like uh, about the ayahuasca episode was like, this is the first time I've taken notes during a, during a podcast. That's why I saw really? That's why I was saying. That is so cute. That is very cute. Appreciate y'all. No, that one was cool because I saw a lot of people saying that they were going through similar struggles and it yeah. helped them think about their problems differently. So that's why we do this thing, you know? Yeah. Sometimes we're brainless like today and other days we're brain. What's the opposite of brainless? Brain. <laughs> Brainful. 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 We have brains. We choose to turn them, turn them off for your entertainment. You know what comments really hurt me? It was like, wow. This one comment was like, wow. I've never seen this super intellectual side of Wu Talk before. What, what a what a refreshing change of pace. And I was like, what do you mean by that? I knew I saw something like that. You're just a big oaf to yeah, them. I was just like, you're, who like, am I to you? You're, like a, you're just a. I've always thought it was pretty. <laughs> a long-haired oaf. But anyways, um, just like a block of cheese that talks. <laughs> Why does he keep going? Like the joke was over already. It wasn't a joke. I was what, just uh, describing. What what qualities make someone super annoying to travel with? Mm. Oh, late. Oh, someone late. that. <laughs> wait, wait, we're gonna ask him, man. Don't don't read too much because you're gonna start that laughing. Someone freaks out. Yeah, where are we? We're just skipping around. Oh. Huh? Someone that freaks out all the time. Like, oh my god, we have to get there. Panics. Yeah. Panics or like gets mad, freaked out. Yeah, both. What um, um, what up? What about you? Mine would be, mine would be. Um, they're just like not timely, like not conscious of oh, other people's time on yes. the trip. That's a big one. Bro, big one. Work, yeah, yeah. Same. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, no shade, but some a little bit of shade. Women be taking a long time to do their makeup, yeah. and it's like, oh, how much time do you need? Two hours. Yeah. Okay, so start doing it right now. Four hours later, still not done. And or it's meet like, us okay. there. Yeah, that's no, but in, take you but that in Vegas, we wanted to know what time we have to head. You guys weren't out, that right? bad in Vegas. Okay, it was, no, no, no. You guys were on time to everything. Yeah, in yeah, Vegas. yeah. It was uh, in New York, New York where we were like, and then they would get lost afterwards because because they wouldn't come with them, and then they would, and then they'd be an extra three hours late, and it's like oh, yeah. what? And it was like we're not doing this. Uh, is, some of those things were like you're gonna miss dinner. You're gonna no, miss X Y Z. Like we were filming oh, with Apollo ID to because they were taking us out, so we're like we're gonna film content with them. And they were like three hours late to that. So. I wasn't. They, got, I wasn't they hopped on the subway and went, went the, the wrong completely direction. Completely wrong way. I'd always be staring at the Google map, and I'm just like, if I see the dot moving the other way, I get off on the next <laughs> stop, and I gotta try again. You guys went to New York, right? Uh -huh. And I only met up with you guys one day, but the other days you guys were with suburb, uh, suburb talks and whatnot. Um, but I was in the same group chat, and the whole time I'm look, I'm reading, and they're like, Maru, where are you?" Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And they're like, we're late. So sorry. We'll be there at 10 minutes. And I'm just looking at it like, oh my God. An hour later. Where are you? Another 30 minutes. It's like you said 10 minutes yeah. an hour ago. I was like, they're struggling. Thank God I'm not there. Yeah, it was it was stressful. Yeah. So what would be for you? Uh, picky people. So like, and it's like, yeah, picky people. Because then it's like, but there's picky people who are like, oh, I'll still go. I just won't eat or something, right? But there are picky people that you have to now change your plans around. <laughs> Is that it? Huh? Okay, no, no he keeps reading the questions ahead. Oh. Stop reading the questions, man. Okay, th this question, I have such a good answer to. Okay. Funny joke. Should we start no, on no, the no, Keep going with this. No, no keep going. Yeah. The, uh, the, we'll, we'll jump into the, it. Right so, so the picky thing too, right? Like, Generally, when I travel... So, well, actually, there's cases where I don't know the person. But most times, you're traveling with someone knowing their kind of preferences and who they are. You've been in situations no, sometimes, where it sometimes surprised you. Don't. you. Sometimes you don't. Yeah, like... like in a situation, <laughs> you to like say I can't say their name. In a, in a big group <laughs> traveling setting, sometimes people that come are not like your closest friends. I would say traveling with a big them. group, more than two other people, terrible. Oh, Maybe you terrible. can meet other people on certain days, yeah. but if you travel with more than like four, three people, four people total, it's already a, a wash. Have you guys ever? You have a friend named a wash? <laughs> <laughs> no. That clip made me die laughing. Uh, He's just like, I have a friend named Awal, and then everyone just kept the conversation going. It was super random. What's up, Awal? Um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, have you guys ever, like, Coachella, Rolling Loud? Yes. Have, you guys have... Festivals? Yeah. yeah you Ooh, have, festival tips. That's another good topic. Oh, that should be its own... Yeah. I've never been to one, so... I've never we'll, been to we'll, one. We'll take you ever? Uh, you? I've never been to one. Why, why have you not? You don't like that stuff, or...? I, I don't really like concerts or festivals and concerts. stuff. I'm super over it now. I used to be big into it. And then the last like festival, last couple festivals I went to, I was just like, this is draining me of my energy. And like, it, it was just like, it felt very like demonic because I'm like sober or like I was drunk, but like you can't be that drunk. So I'm looking around in the crowd and it's just everyone doing drugs like in the open and they're like 
worshiping some dude on the stage and i'm like this is weird i don't dude, like this vibe dude i had a hilarious thought if you went into like some deep jungle yeah. tribe you just you brought this up before yeah you sack somebody's head and you like they would be like their worst like i saw hell yeah everyone was taking substances and staring at this one guy people passing out like yeah. and then if everyone's if you're at an edm thing and everyone's on molly people's eyes are like this like yeah rolling back and they're like and you're like some guy chewing his lip yeah like, and, no, and they're chill. just doing weird things so if you're not also on their level and you're just looking around you're like what the hell is this this is a weird weird vibe now that i'm now that i'm a geriatric old man a senior citizen uh -huh. when i go to music I'll nearly only, dead on the brink of death basically uh -huh. oxygen tank yep. heart heartbeat monitor we falling share. apart skin flaking. life alert if i fall over yep. can't get up need a caretaker pushing right. me around mm -hmm. hey that was Soil me recently. soiling your adult diapers so yes that's yeah. happened multiple times magnifying glass <laughs> glasses <laughs> so i could see read things it keeps Marvel. going but uh, but anyways, uh, now I have to have like some kind of VIP. Oh pass. yeah, exactly. That's what I realized is I need that safety from yeah. the crowd. Like I want to be able to go into that. YouTube oh, famous. the last one we went to was Head in the Clouds, actually. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't what, really what, consider that one. What were you saying? <laughs> Yo, he's like, I've never been to Disneyland. Oh, I don't consider that Disneyland. I've never been to a music fe festival. I don't consider that. It's like those are all <laughs> yeah, you have real been to experiences. All these things, yeah. <laughs> okay. What were you saying, Brandon? <laughs> no, I was just making a comment that you have to be VIP because you're too famous. Like, you don't want to be with people around you. Oh well, no, I, no. Did, I didn't mean it like that. I just don't like. Dude. I'm not. I'm not rolling on Molly, so I don't want to like be bumping people. Like, I don't want to. Like, I used to like that. Free like a sardine. Free drinks, yeah. better seating areas, rest, better but viewing. You could relax. You could get he's in. He's bougie, honestly. Whoa. Whoa. Bougie. That, what? What? That's what? Very terrible. What, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? Thanks for explaining that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one on stage. What are you doing? <laughs> this guy acting like I wasn't explaining to him because you were calling him bougie why he likes it. And this d dickhead always needs to flex then. He, and you forget that we're talking. <laughs> he just wanted an excuse to flex on you. Yeah, yeah. You forget we're talking. talking to him. Wait, wait, wait. This is but a podcast. On that. <laughs> hey guys, guys. Yeah, yeah. It's a podcast. <laughs> What I was going to say is when we were at Head in the Clouds, we got separated from the main group and it was just us two and uh, Ted and Kazi and my brother walking around. And that was never in my life have I ever felt like it was annoying to get approached. But there was a there was like a 15 minute period where like one set just ended and there was a mob of people walking the opposite way as us where we had to just like stop every there was like literally people like waiting to take pictures after picture. I was like, we got to start saying no, like so we can walk and go somewhere. And then I was like. Let's get to the VIPs. <laughs> this doesn't happen again. Yeah. So I agree with that. Wu Talk, Wu Talk and I turned it into a competition, but yeah. he won the competition. I won. The, the guy that was running the coconut stand gave him a free coconut. So My that, boy. That if counted. You're watching this. That counted as two people. That well, counted yeah, as like five people. So so what's the competition? <laughs> Photos and then Just free, anyone free stuff. Who, who who got recognized? More? Who got recognized uh, more? <laughs> at a, at a certain point, like we were just starting to get annoyed. So I was like, all right, let's make it into something fun. And okay. but uh but we were waiting in this long ass line for the for fresh coconuts with a straw in it. Yeah. And we're like, this line's so long, man. I hate this line. And then the guy that works there came running up to me. He's like, Oh my god, he's like Bar Chemistry, I'm a big fan. And I was just like, Oh that shit. So cute. And then I just like dapped him up, learned his name, took a picture. He's like, You want a coconut? And I was like, Yeah. <laughs> and then he runs over there, gets me and brings me back a coconut. I was like, Oh my god, thank uh, you. And then he goes, Hey, can I get a coconut? <laughs> and he looks at him and he just goes, No. No, no? <laughs> that is so mean. No. And, I, and I just looked at it, I'm like, I'm winning. <laughs> okay, well, in Hawaii, a lot of people watch our podcast and they recognized me, but they were like, you're the girl on the podcast. And I said, what's your name again? I was like. Did they at least know the name of the podcast? Uh, they said the one with the long hair. Uh, the one, the one with the face tattoos, oh. and the one with not the, real fans. You watch that on TikTok. And then the one with the pink wig. <laughs> <laughs> but well, this guy sounds like he's terrible at names in general. Just, so don't I feel just bad. Realized, this is like everybody uh, in Hawaii. We we were talking about getting annoyed at head in the clouds. We don't get annoyed when people approach yeah. us. So if you guys ever see us out in public, feel it wasn't free to. that come. we were annoyed at you? It was just like yeah. damn. It was I've been so, it to was walk so hot, forward. and it was literally like for a straight hour yeah. or thirty minutes or something. I did. It did make me feel very famous, though. I'm not gonna lie. It was a cool experience. I don't know what's going on. What, what just happened? He can't talk. It's he the caffeine. Yeah. I feel like he's trying to say things, but his brain has moved past the words he's saying. So he's just like straight hour. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like the sentence was done. He could have just moved on. 
All right. Uh, I want to. I want to hit these funnier what ones. What time is it? What time is it? Three twenty. Three twenty. Three twenty. They're coming at four. Yep. What's the weird? Is this the one you said you had a funny answer to? Fourteen. Wait. What? Which one did you say? This one. I got the you. pink wig. Yeah. I wore the pink wig. All right. Yo. So apart from cheating, vit, vit. Apart from cheating, what else destroys relationships? When you forget to cherish a woman. <laughs> that was your You're funny right. answer to that. Yeah. You guys not know where that's from? <laughs> no. Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Oh. It's an iconic scene. Oh, right. I do oh. remember it now that she explained it. When Cody says that. Mm. Yeah. It How is, do you lose it a woman true, when you forget to cherish her? Yeah. It's <laughs> true, though. It's a good ass answer, actually. What so destroys what's, relationships? What? Apart from cheating, what destroys relationships? Um, I mean, it's when you lose your ass. What? Oh, that's a good one. Like when you, if you lose your ass. Oh, you get out of shape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you lose your health. Mm. And I guess it's all the things. I would say, what destroys a relationship is not caring anymore. Yeah, and and getting out of shape is low key not caring anymore. Yeah. So I mean, I guess that's the umbrella term. Not cherishing someone is not caring about them. So I'd say. What does destroyed mean? That it's over. It finishes. Over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but but in in marriage. Wait, what did you think destroyed was? Just like it's not good. He's anymore. like messy room. You know. <laughs> no, I'm just saying with marriage. They just go through the motions. They don't cherish each other anymore. They, you know, not every they, marriage. They they get out of shape physically and stay together. Most marriages don't miserable divorce. miserable marriages. They just you know should. yeah no, that's miserable marriage. Uh, I was saying that to be funny. I, there's a lot of marriages that continue if people like you know lose how they used to look. Looks are fading. Hey, what? Yeah, agreed. So, um, but what's the weirdest physical trait you are attracted to? Oh. I also have a good question or Go. answer. Go for it. You know when girls have those like, they have these certain eyes that kind of make them look like half dead, like oh very, the like, sunken dark, eyes, oh. sunken eyes, dark circles, like yeah. literally like they look like. That is a good answer. Yeah. If I didn't have I'm makeup on, you so would you would fall in love. No, it's, <laughs> that's 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 a strange one. I'm like, literally addicted to that stuff. Like vampire stuff. look. Yeah, like it's just like low iron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just not enough sleep. Mm. Other than that, what else? What is the weirdest mm. physical trait mm. that I'm attracted to? That was a good one. Right? I'm pretty sure I wrote this specific. one and I don't have an answer. Did I write this one? Try to think what else. Yeah, Did you, you write this one? No, I, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, you wrote it. Mm. And I don't have Because I told you I'm a demisexual. I don't know. Oh, yeah, true. Uh-huh. And then I was like, I'm demisexual. Now. What's a weird What's a weird physical trait? What would be I like a weird, like a unibrow? Like eyebrows. Uh, th- this muscle on your on your armpit. The fat? For girls, like where the arm, the chest, the, the the where the pec connects to your shoulder, this part. Basically, the rim of your armpit. This whatever yeah. the muscle. You think is. that's attractive? Yeah. On women. Yeah. Mm. You that's mean like the fat part of that's the like right here? Yeah, sure. Just no, the, when it's like you know this this part. The shape and shadow it makes. You have an example. Great. Huh? Do you have an example? We all have an example. <laughs> <laughs> Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think of a trait. I'm trying to think of a weird one. I agree one. with his, by the way. I, I think it is attractive. Yeah. That's that's literally like my... S- looking sick? Yes. No, looking dead. It's not It's not looking <laughs> sick. Like, you don't look at them and you think like, oh, you need to go to the hospital. It's like... <laughs> Like it, let me it, it let me care them, for you. No, it yeah. gives them it gives them like a certain like mean like like mm. RBF. Look. I want you to like spit or on or apathetic me. look. If they look very apathetic. Yeah, yeah just like, over here, like <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> that's Zom- gross. looking at ass. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, pretty feet. I like pretty feet. That's not weird to me though. Like that that was like a not okay. Weird is not the best word, but like not normal. Like feet. uncommon. Big uncommon. butts. Uncommon. <laughs> Big butts or clean buttholes. I like clean buttholes. Wait, I have a question. What do you think? What do you think? I think that's unanimous. For women, for women, what do you think they would say in a in a man? What what is the that? weirdest? Not no, not weird, or just like, the what favorite turns, body part? Yeah, what would turn forearms? Them Girls love. Yeah. Oh, not you. Ar- oh, <laughs> what? You're the judge. They have to. Yeah, so now we can't say woman. forearms. You're a woman. You're a woman. So he's <laughs> the, asking yeah, the men what we think it is. Hey, remember you're a woman. I was. You guys always say that. Like, oh, this is my say arms. I'm gonna say arms or back. Those I was just answers. about to say like back, like if you have like a, a, a nice lat spread. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, almost hurt, you almost hurt our daughter. <laughs> you know she's fragile. I don't think it's I don't think it's that because a lot of girls like like skinny boys. You know? Yeah. True. There's literally a song. I need a big boy. I want a yeah, big boy. It, it's just preference. But but from what I remember, I saw like a episode of some TV show where they were they rated like the amount of 
like the body parts that were most popular, and it was arms first. What about triceps? No, I mean, I mean, just physical and anything that's related to your body. It doesn't have to be jawline, maybe jawline. Jawline is a good one. Jawline is a good, a nice thick jaw with a thick neck. Yeah, I think I think there's one that's universal, and it would be a guy's voice. If they have a very oh, strange yeah, voice, then mm. that'd be hard to be with. Sometimes I'd say Utak has a good voice. I think we all have good voices. Sometimes when I get too excited, hey, though, my it's voice. my turn to shine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He caught. He was like, "Oh, we all got a good voice." <laughs> it's like you're trying to toss me something. Yeah. He just reaches the He's like, "Yeah." <laughs> For you and me. <laughs> and you and you and you. And we, you. we can share. Yeah. <laughs> he breaks the pieces. Yeah, yeah. That's how it is if I ever try to talk to a girl at the club. I just suddenly, if she's attractive, I see Vit over there at some that's, point. I'm that's like, a lie. Like, damn it. No, that is a Get lie. Get away from her. That is a lie. <laughs> Leave her alone. I yeah. pride myself on never stepping hey, uh, on any hey, one hey, of my hey, homies' Brando, toes. Brando, rank, rank the voices. Who's got the best voice? <laughs> Sometimes when I get. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, sweetheart? Ew. Hey, what's up, sweetheart? <laughs> Permission to whiz. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably go with Eddie, honestly. Really? I hate her. <laughs> and then I would go. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I would choose. It'd be one top. of them too. But maybe. Thank you. Yeah, you got a deep. You got voice. a good radio voice. Yeah, you got a radio voice. Should yeah, be raising me up. I wonder why I don't get mad at him as much. Uh, as <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, sometimes hey, when I get hey. too excited, my voice starts going up, yeah. and then I'm like conscious. I think that uh, happens yeah. to everybody. Actually, that, that happens to me too. Yeah. yeah, but you still have a naturally lower voice, so it's not. Yeah. But sometimes I hear myself talking. I'm like, why is my voice? I got that a nasally awkward? voice. My voice is kind of nasally too. I didn't ask my, you. I, didn't I'm saying mine too. I was like, I don't I'm, need you telling you. me what I just said. I'm with okay? You. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah. Want to talk about bullies? <laughs> Brando is yeah, a, my voice. Brando is a low key bully. He'll just hit you where I it hurts. I got you all gifts. What you don't. You don't have. You don't have. That's what a bully would say. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he gaslighted. <laughs> yeah. like, when I bully you, I love you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can never complain. You don't have a nasally voice. I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah. Is it because your allergies? It's just soft. You just kind of have like a, you kind of have like a higher pitched voice. A soft monotone voice. Yeah. I always thought that Vit had a very like uh, angsty rock voice. Like, he like, like he sounds band. like um. What's the rapper everyone says you sound like? Mac Miller. I've gone Mac Miller. I've gone XXX. Yeah. Um, yeah. XXX. Somewhere in between both of those yeah. is what you sound like. Someone yeah. someone told me Obama one time. <laughs> <laughs> Do an Obama voice. I don't think I can. What what is this like speaking mannerism again? Oh, like, speaking like this. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, what like, about I can't what about, Obama? Uh, what the can hell? We ask, can we ask the women? <laughs> so start Obama. listing off the body parts for men. Is what? Why do you smell something it? weird? It's probably this weird ass popcorn. The moon. Oh balls? yes. Oh the moon. Balls. That makes sense. Yeah. Wait, we should stop a little bit to give you guys time to eat because yeah. they're coming at four, right? Ten minutes. We have ten more minutes. Go. Okay, so what about lips on men? Good lips. Or do women not care well, about she that? She does. This is the wrong woman to ask. She's a she's, she's a, broken. She's a demigod or whatever. <laughs> whatever it's called. A demigod. It, it a demiglaze. Yes. <laughs> a demiglaze. <laughs> you know what a demiglaze is? Isn't it like a type like of a sauce cooking? Thing. Yeah. Technique. Yeah, but do do women care about lips? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. I heard that. Uh, I'd say Brando got like, nice lips. Brando does have nice lips. Yes. Women seem it to hides like under the mustache. Juicy sorry. lips too. Women do like juicy lips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For for a for a white man, he's got great lips. I used I to when lips. I was growing up, I used to be insecure about my lips because I thought they were too big. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, everybody likes big Same. lips. Same. I know, used to get Vietnamese bullied. people have really nice thick lips. I feel like we all have pretty good lips, yeah. actually. It's true. I would. I, would, I love. I, would, I love that <laughs> it's looked down upon now to yeah. have skinny lips. Yeah. I feel like the rules are reversed. It's like the world rebalanced yes. itself. But always like big lips are always better. Like big you know? lips are better. Not have to body ever... shame, but if I meet somebody with small lips, I. Make fun of them. <laughs> Not the body fish shame, lip looking at. <laughs> no, that's the opposite the of fish lip. Eddie got I nice lips too. Beat them up. He always be greasing them up yeah, too. I love kissing them. <laughs> <laughs> so out of pocket. So, well, we could cut the bleep that part. People don't need to know. No, they'll bleep that. I am proud of who I am. Yeah. Uh, Eddie was. I'm proud of the concerned. new person I am. If uh, this, who wrote this? I didn't write this one, but if what? a girl fingers another girl, oh, is that considered think? foreplay or is that considered sex? That was me. Sorry. <laughs> that was you. That's a good. That's I a good. I, we asking we for a friend. About it. Okay, I was thinking about it, and I was like, <laughs> "Sex is it not? It's not always insertion." Well, you know what for, women for, say for when when women say they sleep with each other, is it? Yeah, what constitutes? Yeah, yeah. Is it just other? rub? If it's scissoring, then does that count? It's, well, we no one here it just can answer. It just question. depends if something comes before it, because that would make it the foreplay. If it's just fingering. No, but I'm saying, did you have sex if you're just rubbing your parts on each other? Is it penetration sex? What, no, what, penetration. What Brando's saying is whatever. 
comes before Co- yeah uh, whatever comes before the climax what causes the climax that's considered that no nah. but, oh, no, but what think, if they but what if they go down what if they what if they go down on you and you burst I'm trying to say to myself <laughs> i realize that's called <laughs> that's just that's considered oral right it's not yeah. Oh, yeah. so if you're just rubbing it that is also considered just rubbing it it's not considered I think there's the a lot of distance. toys involved. I feel like so. Yeah. Think, so then, does it only ca- <laughs> does it only count as like like an Optimus Prime? Yes. Does it only count if there's something that no? It's wait for woman on woman. Yeah, women. Hmm. I thought I like sex that. was when you kiss somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Are you being? S- Can we ask the audience? Because oh, I mean, I'm confused. I was like, you, you, that was a good job. I was like, <laughs> I was like, this hoor. <laughs> Wait, would you guys be upset if your girl was cheating on you another... with a woman? No, no, not cheating. That's cheating. <laughs> okay. All right. Cheating. All right, continue. Yeah. If you were, if your woman was kissing another girl at the club, is that considered cheating? Would you get mad or would you be turned on? It's not my woman. Yeah, I would be mad. Ooh. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Yeah. What if... Red flag. Wait, what if... Red flag. A woman that gets drunk and kisses her friends and then tries to argue with you when you're like, mm, that makes me uncomfortable. It's like, mm, it's just my friend. Mm, that's mm-hmm. interesting. But yeah. what if she well, was like, what if she invited you? She was like, oh, you know who the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah. Flip. You know who the flip you, he's talking about. You know who the frickity well, dickity. <laughs> you're, you're telling her that it's uncomfortable that she should just respect you. Yeah. But like, let's just say. Yeah, but apparently yeah. nobody has ever respected me in my life. <laughs> Man. This is why he's like that, women. You heard him. You need to say sorry. You created this. A <laughs> hundred well, women will pay for what my ex did to me. Wait, wait, wait. So back to the thing. When does it consider? I don't think we're quali- qualified to answer this question. Yeah. I know, but I'd like someone out there to answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah somebody I in the comments. Audience, somebody yeah. in the comments. Uh, write down what you. Preferably what you think. a same-sex, a lesbian oriented. woman. Uh, yeah, that. Or a bisexual woman, I guess. Yes. What makes a person boring? <laughs> What a segue. Okay, when you're trying to no when you're segue. when you're trying to uh, converse and all they could say is one word answers oh, without yes. without you know adding on to it. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> now that's just dry. Yeah. yeah, like low effort conversationalists where you have to carry a conversation with them. The, at that point, you should just not. That's actually my thing. Is like if I get even one like one word answer, inkling of that. Yeah. Immediately, I'm, I'm just like I'm out. I'm not. I'm not continuing this. I need the. My my go to thing recently has been just full blatant. Just like, can you pretend like you are in love with me, even if it is like I tell them straight up. It's like even if you have to lie, I want you to pretend that you are in love with me at least for a night. Hey, that's pretty good because then you know it's like fake it till you make it. Maybe they might actually fall. No, I also tell them I don't want a relationship though. So oh, this guy is toxic as hell. Demon. Yeah. Whoa. I'm reverting that's back it. to my ways, just being by him. You guys this. Yeah. are taking him to ayahuasca. Real quick. Huh? Take him to ayahuasca. June 23rd. I'm very curious to see how it would affect him. Dude, yes. I'm, yeah. Same. You're coming. Um, you don't have excuses. I will. June no. 23rd. Mark your calendar. Okay. Send right. your calendar. I said I wanted to go. Since we all have something in common. Asian. Exactly, actually. Um, what? <laughs> this Men. Was like, this was... <laughs> This is this is submitted by the by the, by the audience. <laughs> this is submitted by. We're sorry, you're a woman. Her facial expressions crack me up. Yeah. It's just like, we're uh, this was submitted by the audience. What is your favorite thing about being an Asian man slash woman? Oh, you guys included My the woman. For me. <laughs> I originally wrote man, and then I thought I'm like slash. Favorite thing? Yeah, I wanted. I was about to recycle my joke for the third time, but I will move beyond that. <laughs> <laughs> He's growing right in front of our <laughs> eyes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Favorite thing about being an Asian male? Hmm. Oh yes, people two think schools, I'm smart. Two schools of thought. Yeah, mm-hmm. people think you're smart. Yeah, but if you're not smart, that's a negative thing. Because then they have true. higher expectations that you higher fall short of. I am smart. It's like trying to get into college when you're not a 4.0 student and you're Asian, and then you're competing with every other Asian that is a 4.0 student. Works against like, you. And you're like, oh, they've already met their diversity quota for Asians. <laughs> And I'm at the bottom 1% of Asian GPAs. One of my friends in high school, he was very clearly white, but his like he had like a quarter Cuban in him, circled Cuban, with white man grades, yep. got into every school. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Yep, that happens. Mm-hmm. That happens. What are your guys' favorite? Hmm. The food? That is true. Food Food's is a big good. one. But I, mm, yeah. 
Uh, the culture. I will say the culture. There's obviously negative things about the culture, but I love like the. I love how everyone tries to think about the other person. Like everyone wants to be as little of a burden as possible. That's true. Like you know, yeah. as res you like the way the Japanese fans would clean the stadium, or you go to a subway in Korea, it's perfectly clean and everyone no there's no like weirdo even like the crackheads in these countries do not really bother random people mm -hmm. on the street like you go to new york and you're like worried every time a crackhead steps on the train like is he gonna shit on the floor is he sometimes I, I watch a crackhead peeing while smoking a cigarette in the train and it's like I'll like you know what i mean like this is what this is what happens in, in america isn't versus this what jeremy does like whenever he pees like in the out in public, he pretends to be on his phone. Yeah, yeah. Cross my arms. Do some, yeah, do something. Yeah, but he won't do it on a public train yeah, when everyone's yeah, looking come at on. him. When he's really drunk, maybe. No. I, no, never. Never have done that. Yeah, not in public. You. Yeah. Find like that. a dark corner. I've peed on the train. Really? <laughs> yeah. I was on a train home. I was drunk as shit. There was not one soul in sight. And I was like, I have to do this. I have to pee so bad. Yeah, well, <laughs> you got to go that bad. <laughs> I just peed in the corner. Oh, I had, a, I had a homie that was drunk one time and he peed in an elevator. Like in the corner. Ooh. Yeah, oh, I've, no. I've had friends people that have thought, done people that. People probably thought it was a dog. is getting stuck in an elevator because of all those things. I have been stuck in an elevator with with uh, the most annoying part about this. There's only two floors. We got stuck right in the middle, <laughs> and we and we couldn't pry the doors open. Like like you couldn't get out for some reason. <laughs> 12 people, 13 people packed in this Ooh. elevator oh. and we had just drank a bunch of beers. Oh. So everybody was like freaking out. started getting hot. I was like smashing the emergency button. Took Are you 45 guys minutes. That's claustrophobic? Really why I got stuck. <laughs> Are you guys claustrophobic? Yes, a little uh, bit. A little bit. I don't think so. In extreme situations, I would be. Like if I was stuck oh. in like a cave in between two like, you know. Mm. But like just small spaces don't make me that uncomfortable. Those cave crawlers on TikTok. Oh, they scare me. Freak that me type out. of stuff I'd be afraid of. Yeah, I've seen a dad with like two kids. Basically, they'll go into caves, really tight caves, and they don't really know where the tunnel system is growing. They have a general idea because other people have mapped it out. You have to like slither through and people be, they'll literally be jammed. I'm like, oh, oh. I'm stuck, and they'll be moving rocks with one hand, like flicking them down to their waist, just to like, they're like, oh, I can't back up. Oh, I have to go forward, but I can't. So then they're like digging with one hand, slowly moving dirt yeah, until that, they can wiggle like, through like a worm. Why? Wiggle, why know? do you do that? Pitch stuff? black. Nope. I'm cool on that. Yeah, I'm very cool on that. Anyways, yep. what, did, did, what, was the, what was the question that we were answering? Best thing about being an Asian. Oh, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you didn't. You answer. listed off a bunch of things. You like guys you. age the best. Yes. Oh. oh. Yes. 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 That's true. You know, that was such a downside when I was 18 and all my white friends were like six feet tall with beards. Mm -hmm. and, and now then, they're all bald. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Look, look, look. And, and, it looks like I'm cuffed. <laughs> this Anyways. is like ADHD personified. Um, yeah, my, uh, as, as much as I hate my pops, he still has really good hair. So, um, <laughs> so you're good. I'm good. Chill my mom, yeah. my mom's, I think, 50-something this year. She still looks like she's 40-something. Oh, your mom looks great. Mm. Yeah. 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 For her age. Wait, she still looks no. great. No, she, she looks good. She looks, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks I'm good. I'm not trying to diss my mom. I'm yeah, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, you literally my mom is beautiful. What else you got? <laughs> you're asking me? Yeah, yeah. 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 White man? Yeah, us with another one. Ones. Yeah, what do you envy about us? I would say there's community anywhere you go. Like You can always find... An Asian community, good gut health. I don't know about that. I don't know. No, about that. Asians do. Or overall, Koreans do. Overall, yeah, better than My gut health. Sucks. Like kimchi, kimchi, yeah, and like Japanese have uh, natto. What does natto taste like? Everyone be eating natto on is TikTok fermented lately. soybean. You don't it's not very good. Some? No, it's still it, you would love it because it's healthy. I'm Isn't a it pass. like really sticky? Yeah. It's yeah. sticky. Like you it's have to froth it up. It looks, <laughs> it looks like uh, mango. Yeah, man gravy it doesn't look appealing. Mixed with all. beans. No, but it tastes good because you you can add like a little bit of uh like wasabi and mm. a little bit of soy sauce. I'm all for froth it. Froth it up, eat it with a hot bowl of oh, rice. See. Delicious. See, like that type of thing though, I'm like I would rather eat just something I enjoy. You like know what I'm saying? You've never even had it. If you had it, maybe you'd like it. Okay, I'll try it. Bring some, hey, bring some on set. We'll try it on set. Go buy your own. Um, okay. What's the worst thing about being an Asian man Small slash wee woman? Wee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was way the answer that question. We had to, we had to like uh, disarm Brando before he could use that against us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is something you guys will not know, but we get, we have a lot of hyperpigmentation on our skin, so like we won't get 
like we won't yeah you know what i mean like if you have an acne scar it will just get dark mm. yeah so a lot actually. of like dark spots i have a random dark spot on the side of my head and i don't even know where it's from and yeah mosquitoes love asian blood oh Say facts yes. that's, that's true facts. is that a thing that's a yes. thing my sister they like the umami flavor <laughs> The oriental flavor. <laughs> Do you think Asians um, taste different from other races? Absolutely. Mm. My what? My sister, um, <gasps> when she was young, that was actually a very big problem for her, was she kept getting bitten by mosquitoes. And for some reason, I did not get bitten by them. Do they go by scent or do they go by skin color? <laughs> Cause I was saying maybe he's covered in tattoos. Racist ass mosquito. Uh, yeah, they were. I'm, not sure. I'm just I'm just pooling from people I hang out with and maybe blood type. Mm. What are your blood types? Because there's more O blood types with Asian people, I believe. Oh, for Oriental. <laughs> I'm I didn't say that. A for hey. Asian. Hey, if you're white, you cannot laugh at these jokes. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you're just not <laughs> Asian. <laughs> if you're just not Asian, you can't laugh at these jokes. I have jokes. another good one, though. You just kidding. Laugh. Just kidding. Laugh. Yeah, we're, we're another, another good one. Another positive one. Asian people don't really have B.O. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's a really good, positive right? one. Yeah, but actually, that gene is only 90% percent plus in koreans and then it goes down it's like 70 plus for yeah. east asians oh so we're the best yeah yeah we're number one oh. number, number one number one <laughs> say it say it no <laughs> <laughs> it's not korean if you what else so. what's a bad thing hmm. short yeah we're smaller, smaller. um what's a, i had one let's oh. hear we can't we can't grow mustaches. Yeah, yeah, no beard. No, no, beard. no beards. No well, beards. Well, some people will consider that a W. I like that. Yeah, yeah I like some people that consider that a W. That's part of don't. why we look so much younger, though. I feel like uh, I'd be a demon if I could grow a beard mm -hmm. like that. It'd also just be fun. What, what, be what fun. do you mean by a demon? What's the definition of a demon? Huh? What do you mean by a demon? Rawr. Yeah, <laughs> scary. <laughs> Just running like around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what, oh, oh, I would say we're not, um, we're not risk takers. What? Speak like, for yourself. I think that's like a personal, Korea, that sounds more like a personal thing than a race thing. You don't, uh, be, seeing, like, you don't be seeing Koreans I, doing white boy stuff. If you talk about like athletic kind of things, but also in the country, Korea is built off of like Stability. playing your role yeah. in a hierarchy. Almost, yeah. You're not out there okay. being so like, how can I be an entrepreneur? Because if you're talking about Asian Americans, yeah, that's Asian the Americans are like some of the biggest moving entrepreneurs. Moving to a new country where you don't have money. Don't yeah, have I resources. mean like that kind of risk. But I'm saying in terms of like. Well, adrenaline one, sure, there's, I'm saying more in types of like what risks we take is very. We're just more concerned. Yeah, and, and, and a lot of times the people that were immigrating had no choice. It's not like, you know, if, if everything was no, great I mean, even they were, today, like Asian Americans today, like how many entrepreneurs, you know what I mean? Like that are starting crazy mm, startups. I, I have a good That's point. true. That's true. I, I, um, I lose. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a double-edged sword. <laughs> what? It's a double-edged sword. It's like kind of good and bad, but I feel like a lot of Asians are grow up with like a, uh, a chip on their shoulder kind of because you never really yeah you never really fit into like it's like too yellow for the white kids too yellow for the black kids mm. yeah yep and too white for the asian kids if you are more if you're like us yeah. yeah yeah what i was gonna say is which which like came, we kind of talked about previously but like every time a non-asian person is into me i have to ask myself do they just like me because I'm fulfilling some weird, weird K-drama stuff. Yeah. yeah, or are they into me? So I like the girls where they're like, "Oh, I've never been with an Asian guy before." I'm like, "Yes," because then you really like me, mm. you know. Versus like, I look at their page and it's all like BTS, K-drama, yeah. like, "Oh my god, oh like, blah, blah, blah. There, there was a few months where, as a joke, I used to ask the girls I was talking to, I was like, "Do you only like me because I'm a member of BTS?" <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "Ah, shut up, bitch." I was like. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's low. Like you know, I appreciate the appreciation for our culture, but you never know where the line stops. So it's like it kind of just more I think about it, I'm like I'm cooler than Jung Cook. <laughs> Jung Cook. Yeah. So yeah, and I think for I it's just now beginning oh for Asian men, but Asian women I think have been fetishized for a while. Oh, I was about to say, yeah. yeah do you do you experience that? Not really. Really? Yeah, not really. My porcelain skin, China doll. You never see because like some like creepy. Because I don't have porcelain skin. No, no, not really. Oh, I, there's there's one time when a guy was like, "Oh, my ex-wife was Asian," and I was like, "Okay, that was it." You know what I mean? You're dating guys with ex-wives? No, when I <laughs> not dating them, they would just come up to me and say that, like just randomly. Oh yeah, I get weird shit like that all the time. Yeah. And I'd be like, "What does that have like, to do with like?" You look like my. Niece's favorite actor, and I'm like, 
Oh, Dude, this was, guy looks nothing like me. I was just, <laughs> just about Asian. to say, like, we're, we're raising money for Nectar right now, and these people always on the call are like, yeah, my Asian, my wife is Asian. I'm like, yeah. cool. Yeah, what's that got to do Just got to milk it. Yeah, yeah. No, like, I'm yes, like, you no, love our shit. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, wife approved. Let me see. I'm just a little cuck. I'm like, <laughs> bend over. I'm like, take me. Take me. <laughs> oh, a lot of non-Asian people. <laughs> They're about to pull their funding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They tell me I look like Lucy Liu. You but, do look like Lucy Liu. Oh, really? Okay. Who's that? So that's just, a, see, see, that's just a thing, huh? Yeah. Who's that? You don't know who Lucy Liu is? Uh, Lucy Charlie's Liu was Angel, like the, the Asian, tra- girl. Asian thirst Lucy trap. Lucy Liu was the first like hot Asian American actress ever. You would pull her I up. You would like racist. her. I thought it was just racist. No. No, you look like her. You got her face I mean, shape. Eye shape, face shape. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so. Kind of. She looks a little more like... Lucy Liu looks very half Asian. No, she looks... No, she looks Asian. Ew, Asian. she's old. <laughs> he said, look at her young. Oh. Char- Charlie's she said, Angel. Ew, she's old. Kill Bill. All right, he then. Oh, she is hot. Yeah, she's hot. I think that does she look like does she look like show. Esther though? Hmm. She does. Not really. A little bit. Let a little see, bit. A little see, bit. I haven't seen her in a minute. Oh, me either. Let me see. Let me see. It's like the the wheel slanty eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> slightly. <laughs> so she could look like Trust she me, could I be like your auntie or something. My auntie. Yeah, I oh. can say that I have slanty so, eyes. So, so it's not really a racist thing when they say that because I actually kind of look like her. It does. You do kind of look like her. Because it's only non. I genuinely. Very, I thought that when I first met you, I thought that too. I was like, mm. she looks like somebody, and then all Asians then look alike. Yeah, we all look alike. Yeah. Oh, drop in the comments who you think each of us looks like. Mm. Yes. What's you said? You said Jay Park, right? You get a lot. I get Jay Park a lot. You don't even look like him at all. You just no. have tattoos. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. I get hella comparisons. Man. Megan the Stallion. Yeah, yeah. We oh, got. I'm trying um, to think of Asian people. Han, I get. From, wait, Han, Fast and Han from Fast Furious is probably. Yeah. And then I back when I had like the the Edna Mode cut, I would get <laughs> I would get a P like Rain from Ninja Assassin. I don't know who that is. P is like one of the most famous Korean. We gotta end this because oh, we yeah. gotta. But yeah. All right, and that's the end of the episode. Jeremy looks like the guy from the little child from Tropic Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the uh, the the turtle from uh, Nemo. Finding Nemo. Oh, he does. <laughs> or what's that depressed hey, turtle? Dude. What's the depressed turtle? Why do you just look like all hey, the turtle hey, characters? Hey, hey, let's end this episode. He looks like a hey, guys, look at the time. Look at the time. Who cares, man? Unplug this mic. I want to keep talking to our friends. Hey, uh, <laughs> so Anyways. so that's the end of the episode. Make sure you tune. We dropped the audio version now one day earlier. So download it on uh, whatever audio platform that you like to use. Make sure you drink Nectar Hard Seltzer. If we're com- we're coming to Texas in the spring or trying to, so send send your favorite store to the f- Nectar phone number. And my name is Jeremy. My name is Esther. Can we do this now. I t- apparently. We we'll talk. My name is, we'll talk. My name my is, name is Vid Trap. Trap. And, uh, and uh, we'll see, see you, you later. later. We'll see you next time. We love you guys. Next time later. Next Thank later. you for tuning in. No, I want to say the last word. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, one more thing. Bye. Um. Goodbye. Hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty... Drink Nectar Nectar Hard Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you. Oh, oh, oh.